one, let me blast off this little email to everyone that has shared their info for the auctions. Let everyone know that I'm live and here it goes. Okay, a little email notification sent. So glad you guys are here. Um, I have some new items. I just shared it in the email, but we're going to have a dollar sale tonight. Of course, not everything is going to be a dollar, but we are going to have some dollar items. I have some new time and table table runners. I have some time and table placemats and cloth napkins. As promised, if you guys watched, I believe it was two Walmart videos ago, two regularly uploaded videos ago uh, from Walmart, um, I was telling you guys that um, I was going to share some items that are marked 1997 and 1996 in stores for a reduced price because I was able to get them on clearance. So yes, I have some of those. I also have some brand new Sharpie sets. I only grabbed two, I was only able to grab two. I have some brand new Sharpie sets. Uh, this brand new candy here, I only grabbed four bags. It looks super exciting. Rainbow Sherbet and Blue Raspberry flavors. This is the Fantasy Mix, brand new from Haichu. I saw these very bags in Walgreens for almost $3 a bag. I only grabbed four of them. And I'm gonna have a lot of other dollar items, some dollar crystal erasers, of course, I have some heart uh, Valentine's pens, some other heart items. Hi, Leanne. Uh, Valentine's heart items to my crafters that may be here or uh, you guys like that knuckle crack. Um, my crafters that may be showing up. I have um, grabbed a box of envelopes that I know a lot of you love for crafting, colorful envelopes. Diane, if you're watching, I think you're watching. Hi, Diane. I have a bunch of envelopes. Um, not like every color in the rainbow, but I, and I also grabbed a few select clothing items. I'm also going to have dollar washi. I have a whole tote of washi. I would love to do bundles of 10, but I'd like you guys to just tell me like, I want this color or this vibe. I really don't want to like hand pick all of them because I might be going to the gym tonight, you guys, after, uh, after the store. And I, I kind of want to keep my night open and um, the hand picking the washi takes a lot of time and I'm just going to do it for a dollar a roll. So I really like to do bundles of 10. I have a whole storage bin. I have some pop sockets that are brand new and, um, I have a random item of the night. I have some, um, super random item of the night, you guys, um, which is also going to be a dollar a can. Very random, uh, California girl, huge things of sardines and spicy tomato sauce. I have three of these. I had bought a bunch of those at Walmart. They were normally like three something each and I thought, I think I got them for a dollar and some change. So uh, that's gonna be the weird item of the night. You know, high chew and sardines in a can, like I always throw in some random items. Also, you guys, I have some brand new Better Homes candles and these cuties that you, I shared with you guys that all smell amazing in the past. These are originally from Target. These are a dollar each. These smell amazing. Whether you want to keep them in the tin or if you want to do a repotting project and melt them into a container that you like or if you want to turn them into wax melts, these all smell so amazing. And I have two small boxes of these. I have multiple scents. These are going to be a dollar each. I've never sold them for this cheap, but I recently um, opened up some of my totes and I was like, oh yeah, I have these and I want to start selling them before the weather gets too hot, which means I need to focus on selling them in the winter, in the winter months, once um, March, April, you know, starts coming around, they might be a problem to ship because you guys know I'm here in Vegas and it gets very hot and I don't want anything damaged that I sent to you, send to you guys like ever. Let me go ahead and um, log or not log in, but hop into the chat here on my computer. Elizabeth, hi Elizabeth, happy holidays to you and your family. It's been a while, hope you're doing well, glad to be back. So happy you're here, Elizabeth, welcome. And hi to Carmen, and hi to Tanisha, and hi to Leanne, hi to Jess and Bree, 
And is Diane here? I think Diane might be here. Let me um, see here in the chat. Oh, and Diane is here. Hi, Diane. Yes, Diane, I, I wanna do bundles of envelopes. I know you had um, purchased some envelopes from me in the past and I have a bunch of envelopes that would be perfect for crafting. Diane's like, I'm here. Hi, Diane. Yeah, you guys, so um, I'm gonna start off with, and if anyone wants uh, to try any of this candy, I only have four bags, it's brand new. The packaging is beautiful. To those of you that know me well, you know that I can't resist stuff like this. Like, I, I just really can't resist stuff like this ever. And of course, I love high chew, so I was like, yeah, I'm getting those. And I paid more than I would normally pay for these, but um, they're still gonna be two for $5. I just think they look so good. Blue raspberry and rainbow sherbet. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They just look so amazing. The fantasy mix flavors are so good. This is my first time seeing them. I just grabbed these yesterday. I saw them um, in two stores yesterday. I couldn't believe it. Like, I couldn't believe how beautiful the packaging was. So yes, you guys, if anyone wants them, I only have the four and they're two for five. And then of course I have uh, the Christmas, a lot of the Christmas candy still just says the blue Hawaiian one is my favorite. Is that a different pack than these in the fantasy collection? Because this flavor here is blue raspberry. If, Maybe I just haven't seen that kind yet. But yeah, you guys, I brought the regular Christmas candy in, the ring pops, the um, mints, the poppin' candy, the warheads, those chew. I still have a lot of Christmas candy. That, and just a lot of candy, period. Um, because some of our regulars that buy candy haven't been here lately and I really do miss them. So now I have just a whole bunch of candy um, and, um, and I'm not going to eat it all. So I need you guys to buy that candy, you know? <laughs> Elizabeth Morrison. Hi, honey. And she says, yum. Okay, so I'm going to put the candy away for now and we will get started. To everyone watching on Playback, hi, so glad you're here. We're gonna have a lot of dollar items tonight. Again, let's start with um, the candles. I just showed you guys the candles. They smell so good. This one is Tropical Smoothie. It smells so good. Trust me, you guys. It smells so good. Jess says, there's another fantasy mix with three different flavors. Are you serious, Jess? I'm gonna be looking for that one. These are a dollar each, you guys. Please buy them, make them yours, a dollar each. I also have um, this one called oops, Island Getaway. These are originally from Target. So if you need a count on how many you have, if you want to buy my entire collection, just let me know. Uh, I have those three, and I do have duplicates on each of those. Now three that I have, I only have these three. I only have one of each. I have the sugared passion fruit, the vanilla mousse, and the coconut colada. And again, these are all from Target. One dollar each. One dollar each. Very pretty, very nice. Um, any time of the year scents. Some of them look like they're styled to be a little more springy, but you know, I really don't care about candles when it comes to that. Like, if you like the scent, you like the scent and you burn it and you just pick how you want your house to smell. It's not like we're so strict on like seasonal scents. I mean, sometimes we crave that seasonal scent at a certain time of the year, but if something smells good to you, it smells good to you. And at $1, you guys don't have to risk much at all. So those are a dollar each. I also have this cute little um, scratch and scribble from Uli mini kit that's gonna be a dollar. Um, it has how many? Four illustrated, two rainbow scratch cards, and one wooden scratching tool. I think these go for like $5 on Uli. I'm not really sure. And this is one that um, I never opened. So this is also a dollar. Again, we're focusing on dollar items. So if you see something that you like, just, uh, just let me know. And I'll put it in Billy's Finest for you. 
Okay, also a dollar. Um, I've shared these before, but I have the super cute hearts. That's gonna be a dollar. The hearts are a dollar. I have the heart pens. I have multiples of these. It says the word lonely on it, kind of sad, but um, really cute, the wings on the hearts. These are $1 heart pens. I had to try to find some Valentine's Day stuff. You guys also, we will have a $1 sale on all sizes of wooden stamps. I have bags and bags full. Um, please raise your hand if you wanna see stamps. Um, I'll probably do a brief show of them if, if no one is interested, just for those watching on playback. But I, I want to um, offer wooden stamps at a dollar each. I have a lot of them and they take up a lot of space. I gotta keep things flowing through the store, you know? But these are some little Valentine's Day pens. I also, for a dollar, have a variety of crystal erasers. I have this purple. I have green again. Diane says, I had, you got it, Diane. I did try to pull some Valentine's Day ones uh, and some heart ones, but I have, we'll just deal with what I pulled. I think I pretty much have like a whole tote or a half of a tote. I have these pink ones. These are all cute crystal erasers. Okay, we have the pink. Again, we're just looking at $1 items so far. We have pens, candles, the scratch and scribble, and the dollar erasers, yellow and one clear. Rachel, hi. Hi, Rachel. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, honey. I hope you're not hurting. I hope, I hope you're able to, to get everything under control soon. I'll be thinking about you. I'm so happy you're here. These are definitely summery. I love them, but I've never used them. They're the wooden pink lemonade tags. Thinking about um, pink stuff and pretty stuff. I have this cute sticky note for a dollar. A little diamond. This little pack of Memo and point markers, 30 pieces. Welcome to Meadow, it says. It's basically just a llama set of uh, sticky notes and a notepad. Again, everything I'm showing is $1. This cute and very nostalgic to me sticky tumbler. This came from Dollar General. I had some just like this when I was a kid and I've purchased these for my kids many times you throw it on the wall and it actually climbs down. It's so cute. And then when it gets fuzzy or dirty, you just wash it and kind of shake it and air it dry and it's sticky and ready to go again. Again, you guys, everything is $1. I have this ribbon, uh, craft and floor, floral ribbon, um, might potentially be vintage. It's red, perfect for Valentine's Day. Craft and floral ribbon for a dollar. It's uh, how many feet? It's um, hit the like, by the way, you guys, if you haven't yet. It says price $3.99 originally, 15 feet. 15 feet. And drop some cute heart emojis, you guys. Drop some cute heart emojis. Oh, well, I hope everything goes well, honey. I'll be thinking about you, Rachel. I hope everything goes well. And uh, I, I hope you can just try to relax um, while you're watching and um, not think about everything right now. I hope you can just kind of relax and let yourself enjoy, um, enjoy being distracted and be on here with your friends. And I'll be thinking about you though. I have these, um, these are a dollar each also. Um, they might be pewter, I'm not positive. I think they're little like tea light handle uh, candle holders. They might be vintage, a dollar each. I also have these little washi tape. They're kind of like the laser cut washi tape from Daiso. I have red, really cute. And I also have green. This is also laser cut and it has butterflies on it. Butterflies. Yay, Diane dropping the purple hearts. Everyone drop your your favorite color hearts. This one is just kind of like a little lattice. 
Um, kind of looks like maybe bows or something. These actually seem very Christmassy, but you know, you could go Valentine's Day with the top one. You could go spring with the bottom one. I guess uh, green butterflies isn't necessarily the most Christmassy, but they are really, really cute. Connie, Connie O says, how much for shipping on the candles? Well, number one, I do only ship to the US and it really depends. I do mostly ground shipping only, uh, and it depends on where you live and how many you purchase. Um, I really can't give you an estimate. I don't do flat, I don't do like $5, $10 flat rate shipping or anything. I do it based on how much it is. So whatever the going rate is for United States Postal Service, shipping is, is what I charge. Um, hey, Jeffrey. Merry Christmas, Jeffrey. So yes, Connie, um, sorry, honey, but I can't really give you an estimate, but I do send invoices out with your price and, the sh and shipping on via PayPal. So you'll be able to see what it is. Um, but the candles are normally $3 candles. And I, again, these are originally from Target. Happy you guys are here. Definitely hit the like. Also for $1, I have this little vintage set. And um, some of these Valentine's Day things, you guys, I'm ready to share and, and pass on. So that's why I'm selling them for a dollar. The little tiny tapered candles, only one of them, the wick was like lit for two seconds. And the little clear holders. Yes, you're welcome. Yep, so all of these items that you guys are looking at are just one dollar. I think I want to do a quick community post. Um, if you guys don't mind giving me two seconds, I want to do a quick community post and just let everyone know that we're having a dollar sale. Not everything's going to be a dollar, but I do want to let everyone know that we're having a dollar sale tonight. One dollar sale at the live Bunny Birdie Gator store. Can you guys do me a favor? And when you get this community post, can you guys tell me like, oh, I just got the post? I just kind of am curious about the timing of everything. Also, if you guys don't have notifications turned on, will you guys turn on notifications? Because without notifications turned on, I don't think you get all of my community post. $1 sale at the live Bunny Birdie Gator store. Shop now. Okay. And I'm gonna put the link in here. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, and it didn't show the thumbnail, it just shows the little link. Oh, okay, there we go. I like it when it shows the picture, like a picture of the thumbnail. Anyways. All right, so there we go. So you guys tell me, please, do me a little favor and tell me, when you see the posts come through, the community posts, when you see it come through, let me know. I just kind of like to monitor things from um, from your shoes sometimes, you know? Okay, you guys, so again, these are all the dollar items. Um, I do have duplicates of, the can of some of the candles. And let's see what I have over here. Oh, and then of course we have the washi tape, uh, the stamps. I'm gonna have to come over here a little bit tonight because um, I do have some totes over here. Oh, two for a dollar, you guys. Two for a dollar. I have some Valentine's Day pens. Two for a dollar. They are just the little clickable, twistable pens like this with the little heart. I have three colors and they're two for a dollar. Uh, I think the temperature is like Vegas in Minnesota. Is it, Diane? So these are two for a dollar, and I have a whole Ziploc bag of them. Tanisha says, almost four days till Christmas. So glad you're here, Tanisha. These are two for a dollar. Actually, let's do three for a dollar. Three for a dollar on the pens. Three for a dollar. Yep, three for a dollar. I'm going to set those there. I have a whole bag of them. 
they're cute and little and they're not too long. They fit in your purse pretty nice in that little center zipper compartment or if you have a makeup bag. And I like that you can just twist it closed. It's not gonna accidentally open up and start writing all over your purse or writing, you know, on, where, on whatever you may have, bag you may have it in. Yes. Okay, so we do have the stamps. Um, I want to show you guys just a few new three for ten dollar items in between. I grabbed some umbrellas, just some basic little umbrellas, black umbrellas. I grabbed three of them. That's part of a three for ten. I don't know if you guys have checked umbrella prices lately, but good luck finding one of under like eight dollars or ten dollars like anywhere seems like they're always so pricey okay these are some new three for ten dollars the umbrellas the made from wheat straw hair clips 100 happier hair the brand is expressions i have one pink i have a scoonsy purple to those of you that were with me yesterday in dollar tree you saw me looking at these and finding just tons of new hair clips. This one, it's kind of a cream oatmeal color. Sherry, Merry Christmas, Sherry. So happy you're here. Um, everything that I'm showing on the table right now is $1 each. These pens are three for a dollar, but the hair items I'm showing are part of the three for 10. I also have, I think I grabbed two of these black scoonsies. I just love this, kind of looks like a chain. The way it's woven and again these are all name brand and scoonsy oh you, you season the cornish hens tanisha i know we were talking about those those cornish hens yesterday in the live now when are you eating them are you are you are you saving them are you marinating them or is this gonna is this gonna be your christmas meal this one is super cute, you guys. They had these in silver. They had a couple different varieties. This is super sturdy. I, I think Terilyn said she wasn't going to be able to be here, but I was thinking about uh, how this one will be strong, how Terilyn says she has really thick hair. These feel very durable, and I like that they're decorative. It's just such a different design. And then also it would be good if you're, like, dyeing your hair or anything like that to where this is metal, so it's not going to stain versus, like, maybe a plastic. I have this green one. Diane says forecast for Christmas is in the 50s. Oh my gosh, Diane. That is unheard of for Minnesota. That is just absolutely unheard of. Ha, ha Jess says, I bet they're going to taste amazing, Tanisha. Yes, I, I haven't had Cornish hens in a long time. They're so cute and little, aren't they? And then I got this scoonsy one. So if you love black hair clips and black hair accessories, these two are super cute and different, you know? I, I like them though. They, it just says claw clip on it and it is official scoonsy. They feel really nice. 38 degrees in Rochester tonight, no way. I know you guys are happy, like super happy. Cause if I was still in Minnesota, I would be super happy that I was able to run around and do all my errands, all my Christmas stuff. I feel like the last couple of years, it's actually been like that. Like the weather is like, okay, people, do what you need to do for the holidays. Get where you need to get for the holidays. And then I'm going to dump some snow on you. Like run around and do what you need to do. Like it's just holding on for Christmas or a couple days after Christmas. You know, like, I don't know. Something about that timing is, is amazing. So those, those hair items were free for 10, you guys. And then if you missed last week, I had just a very small bag of some other three for $10 items. These are from Claire's. I think I might have actually offered these for $5 last week, but these are three for 10 this week. And I think these are super cute. Diane says, I want snow and a white Christmas. I know you do. I had just a very light drizzle of rain last night when I was walking into Walmart and it just made me think of like, hmm, if it was a little bit colder, this could actually be snow. Um, and I heard that every once in a while we get a tiny bit of snow here in Vegas, but I haven't seen any yet. Aren't these pretty, you guys? Again, these are three for 10. Um, comes with the golden bobby pins, the little um, bun uh, donut, uh, originally $9.99. These are three for 10 this week. I also have this one. Jess says, I think it's going to rain here on Christmas, but no snow. Mm. 
Also, this really sturdy one. I mean, this and this. This and this one, if you wanted to get two, would be a nice, cute um, combo to get, especially if you're getting it as like a birthday gift or a Valentine's Day gift. Really nice combo for the gold lover. And this sort of has like the banged out faceted top layer. Really cute. Yes, I love picking up new hair stuff. So yes, you guys, those are all three for 10. Three for 10. I don't think Justine's here tonight. Justine's not here tonight. Um, Taryn's not here tonight. We haven't seen Melanie in quite a while. Jenny's not here. Um, like, what's going on, you guys? You know? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But um, I I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to, to not get down about um, the very low attendance lately. I know everyone is extremely busy. Um, but it's, it's a little hard. It's a little hard to... Uh, you know, run the store um, when not many people are here and not many people are shopping, but I, I'm trying to hold on. Um, I have this wrapped in your arms, blush, rose, and magnolia hand creams, um, one ounce each. These are also part of the three for 10, and I do have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine in stock. I really love this brand. You guys know I love this brand so, so much. It's a really great brand. And these are also part of the three for 10. So the three for 10 so far are the hand creams and the hair clips, but everything on the table is a dollar each, including the three for a dollar pens, all of the candles, the sticky notes, the gemmed erasers, the Daiso washi, the ribbon, the pewter, I think pewter, tea light candle holders, the umbrellas, also part of the three for 10. Just in case you guys are new this week, I also have some Maybelline makeup as part of the three for 10, the eyeshadows. Amanda's here. Hi, Amanda. Tanisha says, it's way too early for Valentine's Day. I know, but being, being in the business that I'm in, you know, I know that a lot of you are ready for Christmas. So I do want to give you guys that option. And also as far as filming, I'm definitely looking for Valentine's Day things as well. Diane says, I'll take three pens. Thank you, Diane. These are three for 10. Diane gets three pens for a dollar. Thank you, Diane. Don't worry. We will be looking at the dollar stamps. We have dollar stamps and washi coming up. I'll put some pens into Billy's Finest for you, Diane. Thank you. Okay, Diane, starting everybody off. Casey's here. Hey, Casey, we're looking at a lot of dollar and three for $10 items tonight. Um, let's see what else. Just to those that are new, because I feel like a lot of people are new tonight, I just showed a bunch of three for $10 hair accessories, mostly from Claire's, also Expressions and Scoonsie. I also have... The pumpkin pie, again, I got these right before Thanksgiving. These are also part of the three for 10. I have multiples on that. The Maybelline eyeshadows are also three for 10. You can kind of see a little bit of the color as it's shifting in the light. But we're gonna have dollar washi and we're gonna have dollar wooden stamps. And the majority of my wooden stamps are vintage and many of them are brand new. So glad you're here, Amanda. I have two of these, they're really, really pretty. And I also have two of these creamsicle and bubblegum scented. This is the licensed uh, kinetic sand and the cute little ice cream holder. Those are also three for 10, as well as the Mickey Poppet crossbody purse. Uh, Claire's Club was originally $14.99, asking $3.33 or $3.34. Part of the three for 10, everything three for 10 tonight, you guys can mix and match regardless to what category it's in. If it's three for 10, it's three for 10. You could have a makeup, you could have a um, whatever, you know, mix and match whatever you want. Okay. All right, I'm gonna load up some of the three for $10 items and then I think I'm gonna load up some of the dollar items. And also, you guys, I have the three for $10 umbrellas in black only. 
I haven't been on the last live, but I have been watching. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here, Diane. Always happy when you're here. Oh, also random $1 item. If you guys are just hopping in, it's super random. It's the weird item of the night. The California girl uh, fully equipped with omega-3 fatty acids. The 15 ounce in spicy tomato sauce. It's the sardines and it's picante and I have three of them and it's a big container. So those are a dollar each. I only have three of those. And if you guys missed when I first hopped on, I have four bags of the brand new fantasy mix in rainbow sherbet and blue raspberry. All my candy and all my snacks are two for five dollars. I have Christmas candy. I have I still have corn nuts, Mexican street street corn, um, corn nuts, airheads, whoppers, Reese's, a variety of Werther's, a variety of gummies, a variety of sour candy. So if anyone wants to see the candy stash, please let me know, but I'm not gonna get it all out until, unless you guys are like, okay, I need some candy, please bring it out. Because I have not been replenishing the candy stash uh, too much lately because one of my main candy buyers has not been here lately. So, yes. Um, all right, and also, um, let's see you guys, I have other bins, but you know what? Let's pull out some of these items here. Let's pull out some of these stamps for now. I believe I pulled some Valentine's Day ones. And then we're going to load up some of these other dollar items. Oh, also for um, three for ten, I have my last pack of doilies in bright yellow. There's five doilies in a pack. These came from Michael's. And also part of the three for ten, I have these little craft folders. Yes, Tanisha says New Year's Eve 2024 is almost around the corner. Jess says Brie has been enjoying her Warheads popping candy. Ah, yummy. I love popping candy. It's so good, isn't it? Isn't it, Brie? It's just like so fun to eat. These are really cute, um, you guys. Um, I have one of them and I just haven't used the others. These are the little pages you can put. Um, whatever you want in them. They're not photo albums. They're more so like you can put stickers in them, business cards, things like that. And there's multiple pages inside. Um, should I take one out of them? Let's see. I'll show you guys really quick. Okay. So it has a little snap and then it, it has quite a bit of pages as you guys can see. The pages are pretty thin. They feel like, like a Ziploc bag or something, maybe a little thinner, lots and lots of pages. And you could put stickers in them or little things, whatever you want. Um, maybe you want to organize some of your crafting supplies, um, little tiny things, you know, for like decals, like little stuff like this. Like maybe you want to organize little baggies of, let's see if I can get it out without messing up my nail. Little little stuff like this. Like if you if you guys wanna organize little things like this and you have them in like those little tiny envelopes, those little tiny, tiny, tiny Ziploc bags, um, you could probably organize things like this and you could just flip through and pick out what you need. If you work with minis, if you work with th things for nail art, um, yes. But you guys, I have a lot of stuff like this um, a lot of glitters, also a lot of stones. I wasn't really going to get into that tonight, but you guys know I have a big collection of those as well. Anyways, so I have two of these books that are also part of the 3 for 10. For my crafters out there, my nail artists, my people that just love minis. Tanisha says, going away to my aunt's house for the weekend of Christmas. Yay, Tanisha, that's your, that's your tradition, right? If I'm remembering right, um, that's what you do every year. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I'm, the longer you guys are with me and uh, we are here together, I'm learning a lot about you guys. So um, I hope you have a lot of fun, Tanisha. Hope you have us just so much fun. Um, I love traditions, you know, they're just so cozy. Oh, Diane, I wanted to show you some envelopes. And I have a box of envelopes. Um, not saying they're all these colors, but I have a box of envelopes. And let's see here. 
Some of them are a little bit crinkled up um, from storage. They're not in perfect, not all of them are in perfect shape. Um, but I have these colors here, again, for my crafters. And we could figure out a number for bundles if you're interested in bundles. And then I have, um, let me just grab a stack to show you. I also have some colors like this. I have this sort of color palette also. And guess what? Guess what, Diane? We have purple included. We have purple and cream and white and yellow and this shade of green, that's pretty nice. Um, white cream. This box that I have here is pretty much like hundreds of these colors right here. Yellow, purple, creams, greens, whites. Let me see if I have any other colors in here. Um, I think we have a few blues in here. It looks like maybe some reds. Yes, some reds, light blue, a brighter green. I donated so many things, you guys, before I moved. I had boxes and boxes and boxes of greeting cards. I still do have greeting cards. So if anyone needs uh, mostly Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, I have a lot of Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. I might have a little bit of Father's Day cards. Birthday, mostly birthday, Valentine's Day, and Mother's Day is what I have. Um, so if anyone ever wants me to get out that stash, that stash I usually sell them for a dollar each or a little under a dollar each. But yeah, Diane, let me know if you're interested in any envelopes. If you wanted to do like a stash like this, uh, a nice big stack. I don't know how many it is, but um, yeah. I can put something together for you, good, and I'll give you a good price for them, too. Um, okay, you guys, so let me load up some of the dollar items. Oh, but I do have some of these little ones, you guys. Since we're going to get into some wooden stamps, I do have some of these that are a dollar each also. Um, you guys probably saw these last year. I only sold three out of the collection. There's brown, blue, a couple different shades of green, yellow, orange, red, really bright pink, like a pumpkin orange, a couple different um, super neon pinks. These are a dollar each. Some really pretty purples. Look at that, Diane, super pretty purples. We have some blues, a silver. Yes, yeah, so these are also a dollar each. So we have a lot of dollar items tonight including what the stamps the stamps that i'm about to show okay you guys so i'm going to load all of these items up right now actually i think i had them in a little box i need to find that box i have them in oh, here we go i'm just going to put them back in the box oh and five dollar items you guys um oh diane says i saw really cute valentine's glass beer containers in pink and red if you see them at the dollar tree I saw them on Confessions. I'll think about the envelopes. Sounds good, Diane. I will look for the uh, bear containers. Are they glass or plastic? Also, Diane, I, I went to Dollar General. It was, I think, four days ago. Um, it was on Saturday. Whatever. Yeah, I went on Saturday. Okay, so five days ago. I went on Saturday, and I did not see the cards that you and I talked about. I did go there and I did look for those cards for you. I saw them nowhere, not down any of the main Christmas aisles, not down the coloring book aisle where the pens are, nowhere, not in the clearance. I didn't see them anywhere. I mean, if you're still hoping for them, I'll, I can still keep an eye out for, for those for you, but I didn't see them anywhere. So I just want to let you know I did look for you, but unfortunately I didn't find them. Um, for $5, you guys, I have this little vintage cutie with the red. It's a jewelry box for $5. And I also have two pop sockets for $5 each. One says TikTok. The other one is like really pretty um, celestial. And then also for $5, this 
set of rubber stamps for $5. You're welcome, Diane. Happy spring, happy Mother's Day, pool party, Easter blessings, happy Father's Day, happy Valentine's Day, and this little, um, not really damask, but kind of damask-ish scribble print. And then we have this little design over here too that's just um, a little print. So this set is $5, brand new, definitely vintage. It says uh, image tree on the back, EK, what? EK Success is the brand, EK Success. And it's 10 pieces in the pack, $5 for the set. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna load some stuff up. Now we're gonna clean up. And we will get into these dollar stamps. And again, with the stamps, I would really love bundles of 10, please. Really love bundles of 10, please, you guys. I, I, I don't wanna have them forever. I, I want to move these things. So when I do bundles of 10, I, I wanna move volume and I wanna give you guys a really good price. You guys know how expensive stamps are in the stores. And you guys know that you can't even really find very good collections of stamps anymore, like at all super hard to even um, find them. And when you find them, they're like $15 each, $13 each. Diane says, EK is a good brand. Well, I'm happy that, that I have one. <laughs> I had never heard of that. Oh, and you guys, I have, before I show the stamps, I have the time and table items from my video. If you guys watched my last Walmart video two videos ago where I talked about kitchen stuff uh, The video before the bakeware video. I want to show you guys these go for 1996 and 1997 Currently, that's what they were marked in my store. I actually did get them on clearance, but that's what they were marked in my store I got lucky because I was going Going scanning, you know, I was trying to I went sourcing to try to find things for you guys so these are gonna be ten dollars each which is half their usual price, $10 each. It's part of the Harvest Collection, but in my opinion, if you like black and white, if you like that fancy modern vibe, I think you guys will love this. It is not very fall-ish, if you ask me at all. It's just simple leaves. I mean, it's leaves. Um, and then we do have the gold. So to me, this would be very nice for the holidays. Um, you could keep it on your table fall through New Year's, in my opinion, or fall through winter. I think it's really nice, and we have the gold accents here. It's 14 inches by 72 inches. And again, you guys, it's the Time and Table brand. And I do have multiples of these. Again, these go for $19.97 on Walmart's website and in stores. And um, there were not many, too many left in my store. But what I saw, I grabbed. So I do have the table runners. And this is what the underside looks like. The quality feels so nice, you guys. Like, really nice. And I am keeping one of these for my house, too. So I have the table runner. And I also have... Now, I did take one uh, set out the box. Because I wanted you guys to see the quality. I wanted you guys to see the quality of what I'm about to show you guys next. Okay, so this is how it comes in the box. This is how it comes in the box. Placemat and napkin set. This also goes for, one went for $19.97, one went for $19.96. So it's big, it's substantial. It's a heavy, very heavy set, you guys. It's very heavy. This is not a flimsy, lightweight thing. No, this is heavy. This is substantial. So this is what the box looks like. This is a eight-piece set, modern texture, um, and goes with the runner, as you guys can see. Sorry. Um, four napkins, 19 inches by 19, and four placemats, 15 inches in diameter. So you will need to have a medium to larger size table. If you have a lot of people eating at a very small table, then these circles will be overlapping. Uh, C percent cotton, 90 percent cotton on the napkin, spot clean only on the placemat, machine wash on the napkins. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the box. And these are also going to be just $10. 
Okay, let me show you guys what it looks like. So, and it's just, it's so nice. It's really, really nice. The quality is super nice. Look at this, you guys. It's just so good. It feels heavy like a rug. These are the napkins. It has sort of a gold, a really golden yellow shift to it as you move it around. And then it has um, this little tag on it, which to me makes it look nice and expensive. You get four placemats and four napkins. And again, it's just so nice. The quality is so nice. $10 each, you guys, which is half price. And I just think it's really nice. I think it's one of those pieces, especially if you're doing black and white um, or you're doing black and white and gray. This is, as I mentioned, I'm keeping one because that's what we have going on in our house. We have um, black and white and stainless and gray in our house. And I have a clear glass table and I'm putting this I'm going to put this on the clear glass table, let it hang over a little bit, and then I have white chairs, and it, cute. it looks really, really cute and good. So those are $10 each, you guys, and I just wanted to take one of those sets out of the box because I really wanted to emphasize the quality. I'm just really happy with those. By the way, you guys, I also have some Better Homes candles. Better Homes candles that are going to be eight dollars each they're normally 10.97 pre-tax let me show you those and then we'll look at the stamps so i have and this smells so good i'm really picky you guys about my christmas tree scents about my balsam scents my fur scents this smells so nice you guys tangerine grapefruit pineapple cedar balsam and amber scents with a nice wooden lid double check. These were not the ones that were offered for Black Friday. These were, mm -mm. these are not the Black Friday ones, you guys. Citrus and balsam. It smells so nice. Really, really good. Mm, well, I hope you have a cozy uh, night's sleep, Rachel. Oh, you're getting, you're getting, are you going to be, oh, in your bed? Yes, get cozy. Let's hang out together. So I do have two of the balsam that I just shared with you guys, and I have this pumpkin snickerdoodle swirl, and the color is so pretty. I love the orange. Again, it's also two wick. Oh, smells so good. I mean, look at that. It's just such a cozy, like baking, cookie, sweet gourmand sort of scent, if you guys like sweet candles. I have one of those. And I also have, and again, these are all for $8 each. I also have one cranberry apple, and it's really pretty. I like the colors here. Again, it's also a two wick. It does smell very, um, it's not as sweet like as a bakery scent. It is more so subtle. It's a little less sweet. It says apple cranberry currant green fruit and berry scent notes. So this one is a little less scented, a little more subtle. Again, those are all $8 each. $8 each. Now let's get on to the dollar stamps. I'm gonna start with the big ones, Diane, and you have seen these. I may have some stamps that you haven't seen before, but I do have some that you've definitely um, seen before. Kurt bought you bags of stamping up stamps at Goodwill, so I have a lot, but hoping to find something different for my new Mickey and Minnie Happy Planner. Ah, well, you know what? Since you said that, Diane, maybe we won't start with the big ones. Since you said you have a new Mickey and Minnie Happy Planner, and that was so sweet of Kurt, why don't we just, um, you have seen these before, but why don't we just look at these? Because these are all Disney. And you have seen these before, but maybe um, since you have a new planner, Mickey and Minnie Happy Planner. Okay, so I have the hand. Um, all wooden and foam are going to be are going to be a dollar each. So we have Minnie and we have Mickey hand, 
And then let's see, we have Mickey Head. I'm gonna try to find Mickey and Minnie. We have um, Mini Bow. If there's some other ones that you want me to look for, just please ask, say, oh, do I have this? And I'll look for it. We have the flower. That's also kind of very mini. And some of these are Toy Story. That's a Disney crown. We also have the or Cinderella, the Cinderella crown, the Cinderella shoe, the Cinderella, I don't know what that's supposed to say, but I feel like that's part of the same collection with the pink and blue. Also have um, this heart. Looks like it had the sticker pull off, pulled off. Well, I guess a couple of them in here are not Disney, but the majority of them are Disney and they all have the sticker and it says Disney on all of them. You've seen a lot of these. I'm not sure if you really like the foam ones that much, but considering your planner, I had to go ahead and show you that I have these because I feel like they're probably right up your alley right now. I have a butterfly. We have Tigger. Again, Toy Story. Uh, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. And a honeybee. Couple Winnie the Poohs. We do have some duplicates here. We have Eeyore and a balloon. And then of course I have some of those little stamps which would be really nice for some of those vibrant colors. But these are basically, I guess, the Mickey and Minnie ones I have, not counting the duplicate flowers. Yeah, not sure if you like those. If I'm remembering right, I don't think you like those that much, but I had to pull them out for you. Then we have some other random ones in here, a frog, a turtle, a shell, a gingerbread man, and this little one here, galaxy. So you let me know, Diane, if there's something from this bag I can pull for you. A little popsicle. <laughs> that one's kind of random. Yeah, I had purchased these from a woman that I met many years ago when I first started selling on eBay. And we met up and I spent $100 with her on stamps. The box was not that huge, but there were quite a bit in there. And uh, yeah, she has since been selling on eBay also for many years. And she wanted $100. She did not want to negotiate. She wanted $100 for all the stamps. That was definitely more than I would have um, wanted to spend. I did not go into it thinking that that's what I was gonna spend. But the fact, the fact that, you know, I'd known her for so long, and I just, you know, I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? Let's do it. But normally, I would not spend that much in one, in one shot. You know what I mean? Okay, so Diane, here we go with some of the $1 stamps. We're going to just start with the big ones. Oh, my gosh. This one has somehow bonded they, they've bonded oh my gosh you guys like this one bonded um in the move i think maybe because some of these are vintage oh i'm gonna have to throw this one out look you guys it actually melted in the move look at that i'm gonna have to toss it mm, it's so sad look at that it was a pretty orchid but it melted in the move because i guess being older it just broke down so that one i'm gonna have to toss um, anyways, that's sad. I have some flower ones. Mimi, I've had my VP shunt for over 10 years now, so it's about time for a new one. This is one, this one has been giving me nothing but discomfort. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Rachel. If you do end up getting a new one, if that's what's decided, I hope your quality of life really goes up we all have to live our life to the best and health problems just can take away a lot from from our quality and i wish you nothing but a happy life i 
These are all a dollar, you guys, if you're just hopping in or if you're watching silently. These are just one buck, one dollar each. To those of you that have been watching for the last year, you guys have seen these before. This one is vintage, but it was originally $11.69. Most of them this big would probably cost about 20 something, 30 something bucks each, being the size they are. This one's double sided. Hi, Lori. Glad you're here, Lori. This one, October, November, autumn, September, October. It says autumn on the sides. It has a butterfly on it. $1 stamps. And uh, lots of $1 items tonight, Lori. I also had some brand new 3 for 10 hair accessories, uh, 3 for 10 hand lotions. Right now we're looking at nothing but $1 stamps, foam stamps, wooden stamps. I have some $1 candles if you go back and watch the very beginning. Some brand new Haichu, uh, all my candies two for five. Uh, some time and table runners for 10. Some time and table four piece napkin and four piece placemat sets that go for $19.97 in Walmart. But yeah, you guys, those are the large ones that I have. I'm gonna load them back up. I think I'm gonna try to grab the Valentine's Day bag. I'll see what I have out, but I, Went ahead and pulled mostly um, Valentine's Day stuff. Oh, you'll take the wreath? Perfect. Would you like um, this wreath? This one right here? The brand is, what is it? Uh, 1996, Diane, 1996. Santa Rosa K, I don't know, made in the USA. I'm not sure what the brand is. This one, thank you so much. All right, looks like my daughter is um, going live right now. Jaya Capretta is going live. Looks like she titled the video, Shinha is sleeping. Thank you so much, Diane. Okay, let me grab the next bag. Also, I have dollar washi to any of my washi lovers out there. Um, for stamps, um, for stamps and washi, I'll, you guys can mix and match if you want to do a bundle, if you want to mix and match a bundle, but I would like bundles of 10, you guys, because I really do want to move some of this stuff. I have just so many. This one is, um, I wonder if I ever even showed this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so handmade. This is a little house. I don't know if I ever even showed this bag. I feel like some of them are kind of familiar in here and some of them may not be some of these say things this is a hot air balloon with a bear in the basket from the heart this one is it says enjoy with a bunch of leaves okay um may the gift of love be forever yours I think this is a Harry Potter foam stamp. I think I might have, have the other Harry Potter one in here. This one is just texture. I have an angel in here, but she's kind of coming unattached from her, her block, but she's brand new. An angel, a very tall angel holding a heart. This one is just kind of lines. Uh, this one says, from our family to yours. Another one that's just kind of like zigzags. One on a handle that is, what is it? It is, we are memory keepers, self-stamping, sort of like the little dotted lines. We are memory keepers of just a little roller. This one says what? Happy birthday? Happy birthday. Oh, your youngest daughter's name is Angel. Aww. Teddy bear with balloons. Again, most of my stamps are vintage. 
This one is, um, I'm not sure you guys, I think it is Easter or spring. I'm not sure. It's backwards, so it's a little hard to know. It's a little hard to read. This one, again, some of these have Psalms on them. Some of these have little expressions. This one says, hooray. We have hearts, hearts and like confetti. This one that has some dots, Stampin' Up, Stampin' Up. This bag is kind of tricky. Maybe that's why I had it all together. We have Boo. Ah, oh, thank you, Carmen, for watching us both. Yes, you guys. Love it when you watch us both. We have a dove. We have leaves. This little one on plastic is a little bird. Has a little plastic stamper. I have this other uh, Halloween one. Halloween. This is so hard, you guys. It's so hard. There's so many. It's like, yeah, it's a lot of them. This little square frame. Um, the initial C with a flower. C for Carmen. Hi, Carmen. I need to get the other ones out. It's getting a little tricky. A wedding wish. This one is double-sided, teddy bear and heart. Hey, if anyone wants to do a blind stamp bag and you wanna just give me some ideas about what you want, I'm down to do that too. This little one with a teddy bear. He traveled to Texas? No way. A little teddy bear. I don't know what it says though, you guys, it's backwards. This little, where, where's Waldo's girlfriend? That's what we're gonna call her, where's Waldo's girlfriend? Another Halloween one that says happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, this one is a chicken and a cat. A chicken and a cat. This one, another just squiggly design. I think I'm about over this bag, you guys. They're getting very, very small. Very, very small, and a lot of the words are backwards. To and from, that's a good one. I think this one is an angel. An angel with like a, I don't know. It's, some of them are hard to see. Okay, you guys, I'm over this bag. Does anyone want anything from this bag? No, this one says stamp art from me to you. I feel like I have some that were a little more easy to see. And I think I have them in that other box. <laughs> oh, I hope so too, Rachel. All right, so I'm gonna set this one aside for Diane, the wreath. Wreath stamp. Any you like from this one, Diane? I'm gonna look for the other ones that I have, um, that I've grabbed. Oh yeah, I have, this is gonna be easier. It's gonna be way easier. I'm making a big mess, you guys. All right, let's look at these ones. Oh yeah, I got these ones on the top. It's not gonna be a whole lot more, you guys. I just, I just grabbed a few bags. Uh, 
I also have this little set. I'd like to do this for $5, this little set right here. The alphabet and the numbers. 35 wood mounted stamps. 2005 is the year on this. Um, I don't think it's ever been used. I really don't know though. I bought this at a thrift store, $5 for this set. Also, I have this, a Susie's Zoo set. Susie's Zoo set with paper. You guys have seen it before and ink. I haven't tested the ink. We'll do $5 on this one also. It includes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven stamps and some paper. Yep, your special, looks like it's pretty cute. Rubber Stampede is the brand, $5 for this set also. Okay, I have two very small boxes that are Valentine's Day themed. Um, well, one's Valentine's Day themed, the other one has a bunch of little ones in it. It's a Billy's Finest. Thank you guys for being here. Super quiet tonight, isn't it? We only have 16 people watching. So thankful for every one of you that is here. Very, very thankful. Thank you guys for being here. Otherwise, I'd just be on here all by myself. <laughs> okay, I'm going to load up some of these. Uh, yes, they're doing good. They're doing good. They give you love, too. Diane, you let me know. They send you love, Rachel. Okay, let's load these up. I have like a whole bin of stamps, you guys. And I feel like I bought a bunch. Um, it's probably in the spring or the very end of spring. So I feel like I do have a bunch that I probably haven't shared with you guys that maybe I just didn't go through yet. Okay. So I have this box here, Diane. These ones are so much easier to look at. They're also a dollar each. Be My Valentine, Heart, Heart in a Cage, I Love You Very Much, Heart, Another heart, I love you on a foam. Teddy hugging Teddy with a bow in its hair. Teddy Angel, another heart, I love you. Um, Boyd's Bears, I think maybe. With a little cute heart, little like stuffed, stuffed animal. Teddy bear with bow and sunglasses that says love. Some be mine, some little sentiments I could pull out um, that are foam. I miss you, an envelope with a heart on it and a couple different decorative hearts. So these are all also $1 each. Okay, while you take a peek at those, I'm gonna see if I have any others in here that are Valentine's Day-ish. Aw, you're so sweet. Raggedy Ann sending Raggedy Ann's love. Kisses from Raggedy Ann and Andy. This one says, I love you very much. We have love. These are some other ones that are kind of Valentine's Day-ish. Oh, Live, Laugh, Love. That love is part of the Live, Laugh, Love, I think. But I do have Live, Laugh, Love in here. This is also a heart. And then I have always, always a kiss mark. Diane says, I'll take two hearts that look drawn. You got it. Thank you, Diane. Oh, I also have some other teddies if teddy bears feel Valentine's Day-ish to you. I don't know. To me, they kind of do. I like chocolates and a teddy bear or something, you know. And I also have a little... A little flower, like a little rose. Um, I love you very much. Another I love you very much. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. Just for you. Let's see. Any others? 
Looks like I have some President's Day ones. I have a snowman, a leaf, some stars, this little one. It's not really Valentine's Day-ish, but the goose with the bow around its neck, the little, um, what is this called? It means welcome, like in Louisiana. What is this called? Does anyone know? Diane says she would like the two hearts that look drawn. These two, Diane? And here comes Oscar, says Tanisha. Let me know if I got it right, Diane. These two? Here comes Oscar. Do, 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 do. Oscar, the famous lizard. Wow, Oscar, you really did that. You know? Mm hmm. Okay, well, what are you going to do? You're going to go hang out with Peppermint Swirl? You're going to be hanging out with this girl here? And you're going sit, to sit with her? Okay. Oh, aren't you too cute? Yes. Yes, you're very cute together. Mm-hmm. You're her pet. Okay. I'm glad you have someone to keep you company while you sit up here. While you sit up here on the Yankee Candles. Oh, so cute. Okay. Oscar, you're always so cute. Everyone's saying hi, Oscar, and giving you mwah, kisses. Everyone's saying hi to you. I also have this. This is the one I was telling you guys about. I was pulling hearts out of. Live, laugh, love, snowman, snowflake, leaf, presidents, uh, goose with the bow around its neck. Uh, people were talking about how collectible the kitchen goose items are. I was like, what? Really? No way. I think it's like very, it was a very 90s thing. We have a kitty here. We have stars. Yes. Okay. And then, and remember you guys, stamps are just a dollar if you're just hopping in. I also have uh, this one that says, this one is really cute, you guys. It says one of a kind. Really, really cute. We have the Easter basket. We have just for you. Just for you. And a lot of these are brand new. Just for you. Uh, another one that says hooray for you. Joy. Hi, Joy. Uh, kick your shoes off, Joy, and relax. We're glad you're here. And I think uh, Jaya might still be live, too. So open up that other tab and watch us both. A friend. It says a friend. One of a kind. Unique and special. A treasure to find. We have that. We're looking at dollar stamps, Joy. And if you go all the way back to the beginning, you'll see that I have some new high chews, two for five dollars, one dollar candles, stamps are a dollar tonight, um, preferably bundles of ten, washi, which I haven't shown yet, are bundles uh, of ten for ten dollars. I have, um, I had a small table of other one dollar items, three for a dollar clickable heart Valentine's Day pens, also some brand new $10 time and table, table, table runners and um, napkin and placemat sets for $10. And some better homes, candles that are $8, normally $10.97 in stores. Whew. <laughs> Please do more drive videos and show Las Vegas. Love those. Vigil Haran. Hi, Vigil. You would like more of those? Thank you so, so much for your suggestion. Um, yes, I was thinking it would be fun to drive through the strip now that a lot of the construction is over with because of F1, Formula One is gone. Um, they're still kind of picking up the, the pieces, but, um, a lot of the Formula One stuff is put away. So it was a lot of construction going on before that. This book belongs to, that was marked 720. $7.20. Yes, we have um, all the stamps are a dollar each. Tonight, I didn't grab the entire collection, but I did grab a few bags. You're very exhausted, Joy. Was it really busy tonight? Tell us about your day, Joy. Tell us about Forever 21. From the heart, Diane, this would be a cute Valentine's Day one if you like this aesthetic. And it's 1996 Stampin' Up. 
Looks like it was maybe used once. Maybe used once from the heart. Very cute. I don't think I've ever shown that one before. This one says, um, have a, I don't know. I was going to say it says have a heart, but I don't think that's what it says. Heart to heart, maybe. Heart to heart, also a Valentine's Day one. I'll set that to the side. You worked 11 hours? So you worked from open to close pretty much, didn't you? Oh my gosh. Friend to friend. We have friend to friend and heart to heart. Very um, obvious that um, those are part of the same collection. Also, we have, I don't know what that means. What does this mean, my French speakers? It's 1995 vintage and never used bon fit. Does it mean good luck or good, good job? Please, my French speakers, what does that mean? We have this little cute one. This has a shopping list. Shopping list. It was a very long day. That is a very long day, Joy. So just relax with us now. Just because I care, you deserve it. What are you going to eat, Joy? What are you going to eat after a long day like that? I know you are probably very hungry. Handmade by, beep, beep, handmade by, and hand stamped by with a cute little bird. That one is really adorable. So yeah, you guys, that is, that's all the $1 stamps I'm going to show for tonight, just because it takes um, so much time to show them. I love the cat in the box. That is one of my favorite emojis. Yes. So Diane, please let me know if you like any of these or want any more of these. This one is really cute. This book belongs to such a great one. Such a great little um, Winnie the Pooh one that would be really nice mix and match with some of the foam ones that I have. Hooray for you is really cute also. Hooray for you. He's just so cute with his little oversized overalls. Also, I love one of a kind. One of a kind is really adorable. Look at the dog. Like, that is so cute. That one is super cute. One of a kind. All right, we'll put a couple. And these were some of the Valentine's Day ones. We'll put a couple of these in here since Diane added the uh, hand-drawn ones to her collection. We'll put a couple teddies in there. Luckily, I had this one organized. You will take that. Okay, you can have that, but please tell me what it means. What does it mean? What does it mean? It is brand new. This is for Diane. Thank you, Diane. Okay, we have... And two hearts. It means happy holidays, does it? Look, this was the original price tag of it. $7.25 back in 1995. So getting a great deal. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna go to sleep, Rachel. Good night, love. Sweet dreams to you too. Love you so much. Thank you for watching my videos every day, supporting the channel, being here, being such a sweet bunny birdie gator friend. I appreciate you so much. Your support means the world to me. If I don't talk to you before Christmas, I'm sure I will in the comments, but if I don't talk to you before Christmas, I hope you have a really, really amazing Christmas and I'll be thinking about you with your medical issues. I will be keeping you in my thoughts and um, wishing you the very best. Thank you so much, Rachel. Good night, honey. Two heart stamps. Let me write this down for Diane and bone... Is it bone fet? Is that how you say it? One dollar bone. I'm probably saying it wrong. Okay, throwing these in the bag in Billy's finest. So far, Diane is the only one with anything in Billy's finest. Pretty, pretty sad night. Happy that someone is shopping, but that's it, you guys. We we just have. 
Diane's items in there. I, I had to pull, I have an actual clothing bin and I wanna start selling some of my clothing. Um, all of it has been thrifted and or um, clearance. I have these brand new with tags, probably vintage though, Route 66 from Kmart, size extra large, $16.99, wide legged velour, uh, sweats and I'd like to sell these for five dollars they are bright red so perfect for Christmas the holidays and Valentine's Day or if you just love the color red I only have one size in extra large this is what they look like it has the shiny strings it's super fuzzy New with tags, Route 66, extra large from Kmart, $16.99 was the original price, and the leg is nice and wide-legged, which is very trendy, which is very popular right now. So I had these in my inventory long enough to where now they are back in style again. The super wide leg is 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 in style you guys the bootleg the wide leg is in style so yes you can have a trendy pair of lounge pants or sweats five dollars it's the only one i have you'll take the floor de lease as well okay that is i did i might have put that one did i put that one in the bag I think I put that one in the bag, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Let me just, no, here it is. This one, right? Fleur, Fleur de Lis. Tell me if I, tell me if I grab the right one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're like the New Orleans one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's one of those where I'm like, Sometimes I know what it's called and sometimes I forget what it's called, you know? Okay, so we have the sweats. I also have this sweater. It does have shoulder pads. It is vintage. It is brand new. And this is going to be just $10. This is size 44 slash 24W, 100% acrylic, made in Hong Kong. The brand is International Sportswear Co., this is $10. Um, something vintage like this would probably go for about $30 on eBay. I'm imagining it is a cardigan. Show you guys what it looks like. So we have the roses. We have the black and gray. We have sort of this green color. This is the tag and the brand. The size guide. So 44 slash 24w 44 um 24w so they're saying okay that's not really helping me sweaters blouses shirts pants and tops 44 old size new size is 24w okay so it's a size 24w um oversized is very in it looks like it would be probably like an extra large we'll call it an extra large This is what it looks like. The buttons are metal. Again, we have that gray and black. It is longer. And it does have shoulder pads. I'm going to say, okay, you guys, I'm not even 5'5". Five five. I'm going to say this comes, uh, covers my butt, covers my hips, is halfway between, uh, you know, halfway up my leg, half, you know, like, not to my knee, but about halfway, like mini skirt length, like super short mini skirt length. Um, definitely would definitely cover your butt though. So again, this is the front of it. What does it say here? $29.99 was the original price. Marked down to $22. And then the back is just a solid, 
a solid um, tealish green color. And I like that the back of the sleeves is kind of cute little design here. Yeah, so this is $10. I would like to start parting ways and with some of my collection. These can easily be removed. As you guys see the little string there, um, the string could simply be cut. They attached it right along the hem. So that's $10, you guys. And the pants are $5. In resellology, we would call this dead stock, which means it's brand new, but it's vintage. Brand new, but it's vintage. And I actually do have more clothes. Um, I may or may not get into that tonight. I really do want to get into that, though. I think I'm going to grab some washi for right now. I'm going to grab some washi. I have a lot of washi, you guys. I have a lot of washi tape. Tanisha says French language. Okay, I have a lot of sort of like kawaii anime themed washi and a lot of it is food themed. Very cute and food themed. However, I would really prefer to um, kind of do a theme or a color and not like really agonize over hand picking them because it kind of gets frustrating. You know, it's kind of hard to um, hand pick them unless they're super obvious. But I have green themes here. Um, you know, some of them are bunnies and little girls hamburgers. We have purple themed. We have like some teddy bears. Uh, this one says travel. We have orange themed. Really cute, like little teapots. Um, I don't think I've ever shared these with you guys, ever. I don't think I've ever shared them. We have some super tiny ones, like they're very, very small, as you guys can see. They're very, some of the prints are very small. So really cute for planners. We have blue themed. We have this little girl. We kind of see her throughout. We have pink. We have hearts, little cute bows. And a lot of them are like little stories. Uh, I stopped selling on eBay because I had too many other things going on. And it's very time consuming to list on eBay and or to relist. And I feel like I was selling on there for so long that over the years, things really changed to where they want you to pay to promote your listings. There were a lot of other um, companies that came out where you could just send in your old clothes and then they would take a huge cut and try to sell them for you. So I feel like when I started eBay, um, it was still relatively new. And with time, there just became more, more and more competition. And then eBay became more and more, you know, less, less to promote your things. I felt like I was getting less and less traffic. Um, yeah, it was always hard selling on eBay for me. It was always hard. Like, I always made money doing it, but it was always challenging. It was always hard. And it could be very expensive to list things just for it to sit there. So I always had my challenges with it, to be honest. And sometimes you'd list something and you, you would sell it. Or, I mean, you would have it listed for five years and you'd be like, oh my gosh, this eventually sold. But after how many times of touching it and relisting it and showing it. So I don't know. I And then just, then I got very busy with eBay and, you know, all while homeschooling and doing a bunch of other things, it just became too much. I basically stopped selling on eBay just like maybe three years ago. I was selling on eBay. Hey, Ash, I was selling on eBay for so long, you guys. I sold on eBay for like a good, like probably 16 years. And then it just became too much. So now, you guys, I have all this inventory. All the, I have so much clothing. 
and I have it all in my garage in storage bins and I really do want to downsize. I would like to be able to fit my car in my garage. And um, yeah, so if anyone wants to buy anything in bulk, like let's talk, please. Like we, if anyone wants to buy anything in bulk, if any, if any of you are new at reselling or you just like love sweaters or you, whatever the case may be, it doesn't even really matter. But if anyone wants to buy in bulk or if anyone has a particular thing they want to see, like, please let me know. Please let me know. Because um, I think I'm I think I'm ready to um, definitely um, try to downsize some of the clothing I have. And to be honest, a lot of it is vintage. So if anyone knows any collectors, any um, vintage resellers, and you want to put them in contact with me, like I'd love that because I do have a lot of pieces. I handpicked everything for all those years. I handpicked every single thing that's in my collection. I did a lot of bag sales at thrift stores. Oh, this one is cute. What is this little one? These are really cute. So I don't know, I don't know, Diane, if you like any of these, but um, you guys want to see something cute? that my kids, um, that my oldest son gave me when he was younger. Check that out. Do you guys think that's funny? <laughs> I had to save that. I love that so much. Can you guys read it? <laughs> Some things I just like, I like to have little, um, little cute things and little keepsakes throughout my everyday thing because it just, I just, I just never want to forget, you know, I never want to forget like those times. I also have, I also have some of these, this is part of a different collection, but, um, other little things like plants and banners and, um, more little like girls and but kind of a different vibe from the last set. I think the last set is definitely cuter, but I mean, this one is cute too. It has lots of little like foods. That's okay, Joy. We understand. We understand. You got to get your rest. You had a long day. Um, this one is so cute. Look at it. Like some of these are like, what are they? But they're just so interesting to look at. Like, look, standing by the fan. This one over here is teddy bears. Unicorns. Yes, we are doing a $1 washi night. Um, you can also mix and match bundles of 10 of washi with $1 stamps if you'd like. You guys have seen some of these before. I have some holiday ones down here, some black and white. I know you like the black and white, Diane. We have some brighter colored ones, some Christmas ones, maybe for next year, some pinks. Yes, I have boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. I don't think I shared these ones with you guys before either because we haven't looked at washi in so long, but everything is just so cute and colorful, isn't it? Super cute and colorful. Um, oh, you, know, you guys, I haven't shown them to you yet, but I have, and Diane, again, let me know if you decide on any envelopes that you may want. I have two packs of these. These Sharpies, these are $10 a pack. It's a 12 count and we have the very fine, the regular and the super thick ones, ultra fine, chisel and fine. It's a Sharpie variety pack of 12 Sharpies. These are $10 each, but I only have two of them and it's just black. They all write in black, but these are brand new this week. Nice little functional, functional item. If you guys love Sharpies, I, I feel like I always have to have a couple in rotation. Back to the washi though. Um, Again, we have everything here is like browns. We have purple. Looks like she's dressed up like a little um, a little witch. We have this one is very cute, little schoolgirl, or maybe she's journaling. That's that's you, Diane, in your in your journal. To do tulips. Everything's very cute and coordinated. This one, oh my gosh, I love these colors. Like 
These colors are so good, aren't they? Joy says, I can't wait to sleep soon. And Joy, that's, that's Joy. Joy in her bed. <gasps> snoring. Snoring with her plushie. Dreaming, dreaming about her boba. Right, Joy? And here's Joy again. Here's Joy again. S snuggling her, her little sweet um, bunny. And then that's Joy waking up tomorrow, feeling fresh and revived, feeling great, feeling ready to conquer the day. <laughs> joy stories, washi stories all about joy. These are just so cute, aren't they? And this one up here, let's see, let's see what Joy's doing in this one. Joy's drinking her, her water or her juice. Maybe Joy is drinking her milk here, yes. Joy's going to go for a walk in the rain. Oh, and then she's going to come home and have a slice of cake. Yes. Then, and then, and then later, later, pretty Kim. Hi, Kim. Kim, I am showing $1 washi tape, bundles of 10, and I also have uh, wooden stamps and foam stamps. You can mix and match the stamps with the washi and build bundles of 10. I have lots and lots of cute washi, $1 a roll. I usually never go that low, but we're doing it tonight, you know? We're doing it tonight. So Joy comes back from her walk and she has her avocado toast and she has her cute little cake pops that she saved that luckily her sister didn't find in the refrigerator. And um, maybe she even had a little mochi in the freezer. Yes, we're telling joy stories, all about joy. Yes, joy is joy is the topic of, of these washi. Let's see, what's joy doing here? Oh, joy and her mom made, uh, tell the famous Ice Spice that I said hi to her. I will, yes, I will. Joy and her mom with their Pioneer Woman cookware, they went into the kitchen and they made a beautiful cake together for the family to enjoy. And then what happened here? Joy went to went to um, went up in space to see the moon, and she gave all the aliens cute balloons. Right, Joy. What is, what happened here? Who is that? Am I seeing things wrong? For a second, it looked like an older woman, but then I but then I realized it's a little girl here, and maybe I'm just not seeing the picture right. You're putting you on the spotlight. I am Joy. I'm putting you on the spotlight. Mm hmm tulips, tulips for joy, yes. And what is joy doing here? Oh, joy is, is doing it, getting ready for bed here. Getting ready for bed, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. One more for joy before joy goes to bed is Joy goes to the bread store. She goes to the French bread store in her pretty red dress. Oh my gosh, Joy put her little brother in a in a yogurt parfait. And she said, "You were so bad today getting into so much trouble that I'm going to eat you." <laughs> Where did Jaya find that Sonic Cube? That was fun to watch. Diane, that was sent to me from the company called Vivo Home. Vivo Home. Yes. Yep. They sent that to me actually two years ago. They're on Amazon. If you need a promo code and want to get one, I could probably save you some money. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in getting because I think they made a promo code for me. I might need to get a fresh one for you though, but it probably could save you like anywhere from 15 to 30%. Yeah, these are so cute, aren't they? I hope you enjoyed your stories, Joy. A little bedtime story for Joy. All about Joy, you know? And I'll definitely tell Ice Spice that you said hello. Yeah, so these are some of my other $1 washies. I even have another box here of other cute washies with lots of stories about Joy and everything that Joy does in a day. Uh, all of Joy's friends, all of Joy's pets, her plushies, um, all the things that Joy sees when she's working at Forever 21, you know? 
all the different type of people that come into her stores and the different conversations that Joy hears, you know? Aw. These are just so cute. I just, that's what I love about these. I love that we have little stories and they just have so much personality and there's just so many little things to look at. Like you're definitely going to find something that you could put on your planner or use in a project, you know, if you look, if you look long enough, you know, these are really cute. Aw, oh, thanks, Joy. And I'm so happy that you're here. Really glad you're here. Sorry, you guys, it's like super zoomed in. I knew that if I didn't paint my nails red, Joy would be like, Mimi, where's your red nails? So I recently um, had two low splits in my nails and I cut them and, and Jess, yes, this is the, this is the, um, red color that I was wearing last week and now I'm wearing it again and what I love about this one you guys this vegan one from uh Moyo I can't think of the brand right now um but it's from Dollar Tree what I love about this one is it's not staining it's not staining like the other ones it's not staining at all so that is a real plus because you guys know the one I was wearing for like six months straight stained my nails so bad to where when it was time for me to move, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this time and not wear that polish. Thanks, Jess. Um, I really like it a lot. This was a really quick paint job I did. But I really like it a lot. I like this one a lot. I, of course, love the one I was wearing, but it was very staining. And the one Joy that you got, um, Jaya and I, I love that one a lot too. That's also a really nice one. But yeah, you guys, those are some of my uh, washies. I actually have like tons more over here. So Diane, if you have anything in mind, please let me know. I have boxes of others here, like boxes of others. Um, this is in a jelly fruit jar. I have like... A variety of them in here. Also, I have a black and white, some celestial ones. Good night, Joy. Love you, Joy. I have minions. Thanks for thinking about us and hopping on as tired as you were. Yes, there's a lot. So if anyone wants a theme or color, I can make that happen. I have lots more including some of the other ones that i showed you guys i don't think they're organized right now though but they're just kind of um you know some of these purples cats llamas blues watermelons i know you like the purples diane purple uh bundle would be cute have a lot of blues in this one even more purples over here. Lots and lots and lots and even more in the bin. So yeah, you guys, let me just look around for a second and see if I have anything else to share for tonight. I do have the candy, of course. Um, Diane, I know I'm not sure. I think you saw these things last week. Um, I do have the um, little notebooks. Better part of the three for 10. These little ones, part of the three for 10. One more of the little towel scrunchies. The metal straws, I'm gonna keep running a special on these, three for 10, these are amazing. It's the only thing I ever wanna use. Um, and I have two Ikea bags left as far as the three for 10 as well. Also, I have some cute socks. As part of the three for 10. Stitch. I think you've probably seen these, Diane. Let me know if you've seen these already. I think you have, though. But I don't think you've missed many weeks, and I've only had those for two weeks. Yes, I'm glad you're here, Kim. As 
long as you're here in the U.S., um, if you want to shop, please feel free to register and you can shop. You can tell me what you want and as long as I have your PayPal info uh, and email, um, I can send you an invoice. And I still do have some Christmas socks too, you guys. Is Tanisha going to bed? Good night, Tanisha. Thank you for being here, Tanisha. And thank you, Tanisha, for watching all of my videos every single day. I appreciate you so, so much. I appreciate all of you so, so much for being here and everyone that watches my videos every single day. You guys just show, show so much love. And I do notice it, and I do appreciate it. I hope you guys know how, how thankful I am. The pink and the white one with hearts. The pink and the white one with hearts. Oh, let's see. Did you find a washi that you liked? The pink and white one with hearts. From this box, Diane? Maybe from another box. We'll see. Aw, oh, thank you, Jess. Um, oh, and Diane, I have more from this box. Oh, this little one? Is this the one? You like this? Tell me if that's the right one. I think it might be. Let's see. One more. She. Two, three, four, five, six. So yes, you have six, six items. Oh, next to it. Um, this little one is. So you don't want the this one. This one is cherries, I think. I think it's cherries. If if you're saying you wanted the one next to it, we have hearts and cherries, or maybe you wanted both. Very cute. Very, very cute. Well, let me know if you're referring to the cherries or both. I'll just set them right there for now. Doop. <laughs> um, Diane, I was going to mention that I still have some of the crochet. I have the crochet bear and the crochet dinosaur as part of the three for 10 also. And I have the little diamond keychain kits and the peace love and choose joy cross stitch kits that I didn't find too many of in my stores the crochet kits I saw one day the keychain kits I've seen twice and I still have the pens that I showed the last couple weeks Happy holidays to you too, Tanisha. Thank you for being here, Tanisha. These are just some three for $10 pens. Those are the metallic markers. The little cupcake diamond keychains. And I still do have the cute little foam the cute little foam Happy Holiday stickers that came from the 99 cent store. Oh, they are strawberries in the pink with the X and pink flamingos. I still have these as well also. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Next to the ones I picked. Okay, what are we, what are we doing here? Um... Oh, from the other box. Pink with the X. Um, okay. Okay, are these the ones you're thinking, Diane? Okay, so maybe you didn't want these or maybe you're putting together a bundle, I'm not sure. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Flamingos, Xs, light pink with pluses or X's, cherries and hearts. 
one, two, three, four, and five, if you're interested in any of those. Why don't you just drop a number and let me know which one you're thinking about. Hopefully I've grabbed some that you were referring to, I hope. Okay, so not these. I guess we're looking at the other box, the box that's to the right of me, this one, this box here. Okay, so we have one, two, and three. One, two, and three. I love this one, you guys. This one is so adorable to me. That one is so cute. That would be so cute if you if you um, had like a special breakfast or brunch or something planned. That would be really a really cute little layout. All right, Diane. So here are the three. Hopefully, you were thinking about these ones. Possibly this one's really cute too. Jess, yes, I love that one. Jess, so adorable. This one's so cute. A lot of product too. I love the pink ones. Yeah, a lot of product on these. That was the other box, top right by the cherries. Other box, top right by the cherries. Okay. I thought you said something about flamingos, but maybe not. So we have cherries here. Let me go back and see. Mm, the pink, um, <laughs> um, and the bears. I'm still lost now. Let's see. Oh, this one? You're calling this one Jaya? <laughs> This one, Diane, happy. We have the cherries, cherry. It says cherry, but it has, oh, strawberries and cherries. Would be very cute together. Oh, good night, Tanisha. Thank you for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, that one's cute. Strawberry. Oh, that's adorable also. Okay, Diane, let me know if these are the ones you're thinking of. We also have these little cherries. Little cherries. So we have number one, number two, and number three. If you're interested in any of these, just drop what number you have in mind. Or you could always just Email me a screenshot of the ones that you're thinking of. Because grabbing washi, I don't know, for me is just hard. Do you like any of these, Diane? Not cherries, top, second row. I thought they were hearts, but Kurt said strawberry, second row. Okay, well, this one has strawberry and cherries on it, if this is the one you're thinking of. Top second row, one, two, that's row two. Um, and then this little one actually has cherries on it. Hi, Kurt. Happy you're here, Kurt. So we have cherries on the little one, and then this one that says the word cherry has cherries, but then it also has strawberries. Yes. Okay, so we have one, two is the skinny one, and number three is the cherry and strawberry one. So if there's one you have in mind, Diane, one, two, three. Just drop the number of the one that you have in mind, one, two, and three. Yeah, some of the other ones up here are like roses, hearts, um, what does this one say? I wonder. Saturday, Sunday. Oh, days of the week. This one is so cute. Oh, and this one is apples. There's another little one over here. 
That's apples. This one is really cute. I love the font. Look at that. That is so cute. I love that. I wish I could write like that. Like, that's adorable. I like the R's. I like the S's. I like the T's. I just like the font. Really nice. Uh, this one says cherry on it, too. All right, Diane. I'm so happy you're shopping with me tonight, Diane. Thank you so much. And to everyone here and everyone moderating, thank you guys for being here. It is definitely right before Christmas, you guys. I do appreciate all of you. I appreciate each of you so much for being here. It is crickets, you know, but um, to those of you that are here, I know you guys could be doing a lot of other things. So I appreciate you so much for being here. All right, Diane, just tell me which one, one, two, or three, um, if, if these are any of the ones that we're talking about. If not, may, maybe it'd be easier for you just to uh, email me um, because I think I'm gonna end the live. I have a big mess to pick up. Unless anyone wants any candy or anything else they've seen tonight, I think I'm gonna go, you guys, and clean up and eat some dinner and figure out my life, you know? <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put these in here, Diane. Again, I'm calling this one one, two, and three. Flamingo. Flamingo pink with X in third row. Flamingo pink with X in third row. This one, Diane? Tell me yes if this is the one you're thinking of. X and third row, apples, and apples too. Yes, yes on this one, Diane. Say, say yes, yes in the in the uh, comment if you want this one. Say yes, yes. Write yes twice. And then if you want apples, say in another uh, line. Okay, say yes, apples. Okay, so we got you that one. Okay, good. And say yes, apples, if you wanted apples. Or maybe you were just referring to the row. Or just say no. Little apples. They're definitely apples. Yes. Yes, apples. Okay, good. Yay! Okay, so we got, I think that's two, uh, two washi. And any of these, Diane, did you want any? Okay, you yeah, you wanted that one from earlier. I actually have two rolls of these. Did you want any in this bundle? You're up to seven. You have three stamp, four stamps, five stamps and two washi so far. Five stamps and two washi. You have Bonfet, Fleur de Lis, the wreath stamp, the two drawn heart stamps, and these two washi. Plus you have three pens for a dollar each. Yes all, yes all to these. So this would be your bundle if you wanted everything, you had these two that we already determined, and then you'd have these. So yes to all five. You can say yes, yes to all five if you wanted all five. Wasn't sure if you wanted to do two of the X's. I think the X's are really cute. I like them personally as well. Yes to all five if you want all five. And I probably do have more flamingos. I have a different style of flamingo as well uh, that I didn't show you yet. Or maybe you noticed it, but it's kind of a different style. I also have that flamingo right there. Um, so two different styles. We have that flamingo and then we have this one. This one's definitely more pink. 
That one's a little more muted. All right, so just, okay, yes, but not 2x, okay. Okay, so one of these we'll put away, and then I'll just pick you another one. Okay, so here's what we have that you want. And then you said I can pick you another one. Okay, so that's four washi, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five stamps and four washi, but I can pick one. I think that's perfect. Thank you, Diane. I'll pick one. So your total before shipping and everything will be $11. Wooden stamps, washi, and the three pens will be $11 prior to any of that other stuff. Thank you so much, Diane. All right, you guys. Well, unless anyone else would like anything, um, and remember, I have $1 candles. If you guys change your mind and, and, are, and are just like, I need those candles. They're way better than Dollar Tree candles. They're Target candles. They smell really good. And uh, you could definitely break them down and make your own thing, or if you want to fill up that favorite candle container, candle jar, or whatever, like it would be a really good candidate for that. Also, if you like to do any candle crafting, which I like to do, I know my daughter has um, um, this really pretty candle holder with a candle inside that I gave her and I had had it for years, it super gorgeous. And I told her when I do some candle crafting, I will pour her a fresh candle, put in a fresh wick, because it really goes well with her room. So like affordable candles like this that especially smell good are so good for projects like that. But hey, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Love you guys, appreciate you guys. And um, I hope you guys have a really, really nice Christmas, really nice holiday. Um, I hope it's just cozy and sweet and nostalgic and amazing and everything you want it to be. Thank you guys for being here despite everyone being so busy and preparing for Christmas. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you guys tomorrow. So good night, Diane. Good night, Leanne. Good night, Jess. Good night, Bree. Good night, Kurt. Good night, Tanisha. Good night, Joy. I know some of you have already gone to bed, but I'm saying good night anyways. Good night, Kim. Good night, um, all my silent viewers that may be watching and everyone watching on playback. Thank you so, so much for being here. You guys can shop these deals with me anytime through this weekend. If you are watching and you are you have time and you're like, I wanna buy some things, dang it, I missed the live, just send me an email or DM me on Instagram. I will extend these prices to you. If you want to buy in volume and you want to know how many I have of something or you want to do a big washi bundle, a big stamp bundle, if whatever it may be, I'm always open to your suggestions and however you may want to buy. Or if you want to buy for yourself and have me ship to family members or friends, I can do that as well. But as for right now, I'm only shipping in the U.S. because international shipping is ridiculously overpriced and US shipping to be honest is more than expensive. Also Diane, I'm looking at the envelopes. If you decide that you want envelopes, um, you want some of those purple envelopes for crafting or if you just want a random lot of envelopes, please let me know. Um, was there anything else? I did have a couple books here, but I, I guess I'm, I'll just save those for next time. I have a couple brand new books that I got from Workman Publishing. Adventures in Cheese, Ad Adventures in Cheese and the Global Pantry Cookbook, which are books that I believe just came out through Workman Publishing. You guys know I was gonna give you an amazing deal. So yes, I do have those two books available, but I guess I'll just save them for next week. Anyways, you guys, thank you for being here. I hope you guys have a great night. Happy holidays, safe travels, and I will talk to you guys soon. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.